previously on For the Love of Ray J. I know you guys. <laughs> this is the one moment I'm really feeling him, and it's definitely time to get rid of the other girls. I love my one-on-one -on -one with you. <laughs> it's hard for me to like open up to you because of where I'm at in the situation that I'm in. I'm just letting it all pour out. I don't want to give up, but it's like, it's hard for me. Yeah, don't do that. You're a gold digger looking yeah. for someone to save you. So sneaky, quiet little cashmere tries to call me out. Like, seriously, I'm here for him, and I don't care to talk about it with any of you girls. I have thought about it, prayed about it, everything. And... What did God tell you? I want to go home. She couldn't hang. It got too crazy for her. I don't know what Unique is saying or doing to these girls, but everyone that clings to Unique goes home. <laughs> My name is Ray J, singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. But after years of being a Hollywood player, maybe it's time to get serious find that girl who can make me change my ways. Maybe. Does anybody have any more drink? I already That's drank happening. my whole bottle. With all these eliminations and just, it's so stressful, like, I need to drink. Girl! Love those arms, damn! Let me lick those arms. Get over here. Uh, yeah! Oh, when the drinks start flowing, Feisty just gets all wild and crazy, and it's just like, that's not sexy. I don't see you, babe. Babe, you need to stop drinking oh, like this. It's, so, it's OK. Come on. Are you sure you need to throw up? Oh, gosh. Feisty can't stop throwing up. I'm thinking, she's just a party girl. Maybe this is another person that just shouldn't be here. What you feel, we're just intoxicated? Sick, me drunk. Oh, then you good, just stop drinking so much. Damn, my, you was going hard, you said. <laughs> I already drank mine. I like Feisty, but damn, she could drink. I mean, she drinks before, during, and after eliminations. I don't know when this chick ain't drinking. Just let your mind get right, but just, you know what I'm saying? The alcohol gonna be here. But just, you know, I need some time, damn. I thought we was gonna one-on-one -on -one it tonight. We are. Nuh-uh, you chilling tonight. Brush my teeth. Nah, it ain't about that. I want you to be right mentally. Oh, I wish you could sleep with me. Just get some rest. Okay, let me tell you about yourself. You're, you're a whore. Thanks. So <laughs> <laughs> are these girls pretty ignorant? Oh yeah, they're yeah. stupid as hell. That was a doorknob. And there's just one in particular. She does this laugh. It's like, Mwah. I'm upset because Unique is still in the house and I have to deal with her. But it's not about who I like. It's about who Ray likes. Stupid bitch. She's lying, manipulative bitch. I always want her to leave, no matter what. Until she's gone, I want her to leave. Good morning, girls! Rise and shine! Are we awake and ready to go for our message? <gasps> Chardonnay! Yeah, See, I thought boy. you was in there sipping on some Chardonnay. I said, what is going on? Let's check out what your man is talking about. Okay. Oh, Shall yeah. we do that? Mm -hmm. All right. Yo, I just want to let all y'all know, man, I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. You know, we've been having some crazy times, some sad times, some fun times, but this time, I want to do it for a serious cause. I want y'all to help me out with a charity of mine. All right? Let's get ready to do some charity, baby. Hey. Woo! Woo! See you guys in a minute. Bye. 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 I like helping people. I like giving back. So I'm excited to see what charity it is and where we're going. I'm kind of confused. I feel like, are we gonna be praying or confessing our sins? If we are, I'm getting eliminated. <laughs> What's up? This is Figaro at Church of Christ, and I want to introduce y'all to some friends of mine. Now, these kids are from my charity, the Norwood Kids Foundation. 
It's a charity that I started with my family to help these kids achieve their goals and confidence through the arts. What we doing today, this is the Norwood Kids Foundation first annual pancake breakfast. So all five of y'all ladies will be cooking, serving, and making pancakes to help raise money for the charity. Ray tells us we're gonna be cooking pancakes for all the people at the church. I can't cook for so I'm worried. <laughs> so look, I'm gonna split y'all up into two teams. Feisty Danger, y'all the red team. I brought some extra help since it's just two of y'all. This is my little niece too right here. All right? Hi. Chardonnay, Unique, Cocktail, y'all the blue team. Right now I'm not too excited about being on a team with Chardonnay and Cocktail, but I know at this point all my girls are gone and I have to at least get along with them girls. And it's better than being on a team with damn danger. Whoever raises the most money wins the challenge. Now, these kids right here, Norwood Kids Foundation, these are your bosses, okay? So y'all gotta do what they tell you to do because the kids and myself will be watching to see which one of you girls from the winning team stands out the most in this challenge. The kids will pick one girl with me who did the best to go out on a solo date with me tonight. I love kids. I've worked with kids for years, so I'm gonna do a really good job and win this. I'm feeling good with me and Danger being a team together. I mean, it was only two of us, but we're feeling confident. Y'all ready to make it happen? Yeah! yeah! I'm gonna go upstairs right now and tell everybody about the pancake breakfast. I see y'all in one hour. The challenge is based on interaction with children, raising money for the charity, and cooking pancakes all in one. That's the plan. Can it be completed? You know, that's that's what we want to know. Go, go, go! We make something. Hmm. I'm new to this. Yeah, that's how we gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. We don't have um, um, instructions, like a, a cup of something. We have to make as many pancakes as we can, and these pancakes have to be good because we're going off of donations. So if the people don't like it, you don't get a donation. The better the pancakes, the more money you get. The more money you get, you win. Now we need some water. Do these have water? Yeah, these have water. Three quarts of milk. We need water. Okay, um, this may sound dumb, but it's, it's three quarts of milk and how many is that? <clears throat> it was so crazy, nobody know what they're doing. I'm trying to help, I'm just like, it's, uh -oh, wow. It's okay. God, dang. Somebody clean up this floor. This little 11 year old kid is yelling at us like he's our freaking parent. Nah. I, I hate it. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get it at the right level. Not no, not that much, because it's already burning right now. I'm starting to realize this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, excuse me, I need somebody to give me a spatula. I do know that. I'm tired, guys. what it do? There he is. How's it going? What's up, Norwood Kid Bosses? We cool? Listen, time is ticking. I got a lot of people waiting in line to come in for the pancakes. Y'all gotta hurry up. So Ray lets all the ladies know that moments away from serving hundreds of pancakes to people, and we are not even close to being ready. The pressure is on. Hurry, cook, cook, cook. Come on, you guys. Stop wasting time. So time's running out, and I really need to step it up right now because I really need to win a date with him. The people are already here. It's total chaos in the kitchen right now. Everybody's yelling. Honestly, I don't think these girls are gonna be able to raise a dime. Ow! You okay? I you mean, okay? shoot! Coming up next, the people are here, they're outside. Hurry! Everything is a huge mess. The children are running around. Pancakes are freaking burning. There is smoke all in my face. I'm sweating like a fat man. This smoke is crazy. And later. I don't like you, never have liked you. I ain't never seen you unique like that. Ain't nobody I'm there to you. you. That's fine. You're gonna get really ugly. They shouldn't insult me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Unbelievable. Let's go, chop, chop. Go on, let's go, let's go. Come on, we can do it. Yeah. 10 minutes. We're doing this for the people. We're yes, doing we are. We're doing this for the kids. We're doing this for the kids. We're doing this The people are here. They're outside. Hurry, people are here. Hurry, hurry. For our challenge, we have to make a pancake breakfast for the churchgoers. Making pancakes is definitely trial and error for me, but now I really have to like be good at it. Woohoo! Do another one. Let's just get them in. One. Yeah, so we can take them out and get them in. People are about to walk in any second. Danger is pouring on cookie sheets. Like, she's baking them in the oven. Like, who bakes pancakes in the oven? OK, so you guys need to, um, you got to put those in the oven now. Are you sure this is how you make pancakes? I don't 
Please don't sit in the house. Hold on, hold on. We're not putting pancakes in the oven. We're putting them on the stove. What am I doing? Hold on, Feisty. Come back here. Deidre seemed like she knew what she was doing, but for some reason she assumed that we're going to be baking the pancakes. What an idiot. Welcome. Come on in. Come on. Um, we need to hurry up over here. Faster! Deidre, come on, faster! Everything is a huge mess. The children are running around filling pancake batter. Whipped cream on them. Ah! Screaming, we need more pancakes. We need more pancakes. Wait, praise the Lord. How you doing? Come on, what's the blue team? So I choose to be hostess, and that means I have to gather all the people that walk through that door to our blue table. Guys, everybody's going to the blue team. You guys get them at our table. I feel like me and Vice are gonna make a good team. I'm gonna cook, she's gonna be a hostess. She's great at that, she works at Hooters. Hi, how are you? Let me sit you. Mix, mix, faster, faster, mix, mix, mix. Yeah, we have one order of buttermilk. One order, okay, Chardonnay, ask her right there. We have one order of buttermilk. Right now, me and Cocktail, we're holding down the kitchen, you know, with the pancakes and the batter. Unique, she's out there making sure people feel good. We're getting things together. We have a good assembly line going. Strawberry pancakes. This smoke is crazy. Oh, we're getting burnt. Okay. I was having a hard time getting the pancakes made, and now it was crazy. It was crazy. It was really annoying. You guys, my eyes hurt so bad. I don't even know if I'm like. Ow. So, dangerous pancakes are freaking burning. There is smoke all in my face. It's like getting into my lungs. I'm choking. I'm sweating like a fat man in a freaking sauna. I can't even see. Smoke is filling my lungs, the room, my eyes, cocktails, eyes. I don't want you to be around the smoke, okay? So go in the other room. Do you want to take over? My eyes hurt. After burning some of the pancakes, I figured it out. Now I feel like we have a chance at winning if we could just get these pancakes made fast enough. Go! Looking at both jars of the cash, and it looks really close. I'm thinking the date is on the line tonight, so I'm gonna start collecting donations from the other team. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you, guys. Okay. We want to thank you all for coming to the first annual Norwood Kids Foundation Pancake Breakfast. Time is up. Now it's time to see who raised the most donations to win the challenge. Gotta be right on the money. Just by looking, you can't tell who won. So I'm hoping it's me and my team because I really want to win this day. Like, I need this time with Ray. I really do. Blue team, red team, come out. Let's do this. Come on out. All right, we counted the donations. $83 on the red side. $95 yes. on the blue side. Yes. I feel like the other team got an advantage just because it was three of them. It's just not fair. <laughs> we won the winner. <laughs> now, I need y'all three to make a decision. They are the winning team. But now I need you guys to pick one girl who did the best to go out on a solo date with me tonight. I'm thinking, please pick me, because Cocktail, she's already had one solo date. I haven't had not one solo date. Who did you see working hard? Who do you think? Cocktail? Yeah. She was working like so hard, and it was so fun she working with her. The kids chose, they chose Cocktail. Yay. I feel robbed. Cocktail totally stole my date. I am the one who got the money, and I deserve the date. What a bitch. I am so ecstatic right now. Charnay and Unique worked their butts off, but I definitely took the torch for that one because I was nasty, disgusting. My shirt is still wet right now. Right now. Oh, Do you want me to put you down? Nope. No? No? Oh. <laughs> Cocktail. Let's do it, mama. It's time for the date. 
I'm gonna take cocktail to one of the hottest restaurants in Cali, Dolce. I'm really happy we got a chance to come out tonight. I think you're a very nice person. Do you like me though? I really like you. I really think you're sweet. And I really think you would look good with these on. I wanted to give her a gift, something from the heart. So I buy her diamonds. Because Cocktail keeps her eyes open, and she always tries to make sure that she knows what's up in the house. For me. Got me earrings. Thank you. I definitely feel that Ray's feeling me right now. I mean, he's gazing into my eyes, and he's telling me all these sweet nothings, and I'm totally head over heels, and I believe that he feels the same way. Here to you. Cheers. Cheers, baby. I need to drink. I didn't get to go on a date with Ray, so I just decided let's make the best out of it. Let's just have a little party, have some drinks, and just have fun. Unique! Mom! You didn't take your shot, did you? Yeah? You did? Oh, no way. I did it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want Feisty to get sloppy drunk because I want to show Ray that Feisty isn't the girl that he needs to be with. She's a party girl, and I'm the girl he needs to be with. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think Unique is really fake. Nobody really likes her but Feisty. And it was sad because Unique just did her little trick again and just got Feisty drunk. Chardonnay! <laughs> girl, the party's when you come, girl. Keep drinking, girl. I know that Chardonnay's a dancer, so I was like, damn, you have to teach me some of your moves. You want me to teach you? <laughs> Am I working this right, y'all? <laughs> my turn, my turn. <laughs> Work them little cars, girl. Oh, feisty! At this point, I'm a little happy because my plan might be working. She is really, really drunk. Unique is evil. There are only five girls left, and she's trying to divide and conquer. And right now, I'm angry, and I'm sick and tired of all this. I'm feeling really confident and really good about my relationship with him. So I think I'm gonna let Ray know how I feel about some of the girls in the house because these girls are shady and they're not here for him and it's important for me to let him know that. It's not fair that I like you as much as I do and I feel like the other girls are not on my level. But like, you know Vice is not here for a relationship. She's, she's just here for fun. She says things like, I'm not willing to be in a relationship right now because I'm too young and blah, blah, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I know why you're here. But you, but you sneaky though. How? You know, sneaky. Oh. <laughs> and you be creeping like, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it pop off, you be right in the corner. Like. Does that bother you? Yeah, it's funny. I really appreciate you, you know, for being loyal you. and being honest. And just telling me what the is going down. Yeah. Cocktail is great fun. We had a great time on our date. We got a chance to talk about Feisty, and we got a chance to talk about her. And it just made me think about a lot of things that I got to think about. Oh, good job. Me too. <laughs> what y'all was doing? What were we doing? Partying. You feeling good, huh? You <laughs> Feisty's drunk. I mean, she's twisted. And I'm just like, damn. Again? So that's all y'all was doing was partying? He was partying hard, huh? <laughs> Drink all day. I should have called you my president of party. Immediately, I started to think about what Cocktail was telling me. Like, damn, you right. Thinking back, I don't remember when Feisty's ever been sober in this house. From day one, she's been going hard. Drink, I want to drink. Can you lick it off me? Always first in line for a shot. Girl parties harder than anybody in the house. Damn! 
Damn! She's never without a drink in her hand. I mean, can I get a one-on-one -on -one time where you ain't really wasted? Coming up next. We set up some pillows and a blanket, some nice candles. I think he's gonna enjoy it. And later. Excuse me, Ray, but old girl's crazy. She's putting up a huge front in front of everybody. When you're crazy, you crazy, you psycho. You climb trees at 4 a.m. I thought she was a lady. You're retarded. This ain't no lady like she doing right now. I feel like I'm too sick. I just want to go bed all day. I'm just sick. You need OJ. Oh, I have some vitamin C stuff. This Give this girl some energy today. Mm. I'm pooped out. You're that sick, huh? This morning as we're waking up, I noticed that Feisty is in not good shape. Throwing up, can't stop throwing up. Like, alcohol poisoning, pretty much. Yeah. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, can I please talk to y'all? Ladies, what's up? Unique, Charnay, I had big plans for us today, cause y'all won, but I'm just like, I feel a little under the weather, you know? So what I wanna do is, I want y'all to go out with Lil B, you know, and y'all have fun, enjoy the day, and then I just wanted to spend time at the house together. Even though I wasn't feeling well, Chardonnay and Unique still want a challenge, so I felt like it was a good time for us to just spend time at the crib and relax and get to know each other better. That's why the other girls go out. Can we chill at the crib? I am extremely disappointed right now. I mean, it's okay that he's sick. I'll take care of him. But hey, this is my one date. Cocktail, danger, and feisty. Are you girls ready to be pampered? I'm ready. <laughs> Spicy. I feel so sick. Why do you, what's wrong? So this morning I'm feeling like crap. I'm feeling hungover, I'm tired, and I'm just like confused about where me and Ray stand. So I need this time to relax and just clear my head. We're gonna bond, we're gonna have girl time. All the other girls go. I wanna spend time with the two girls that won a date with me at the house, Unique and Chardonnay. Like, girl, he over wow. there, but you, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? I have to step up my game and show Ray that I am here for him. Why don't we do something real sweet and romantic for him? Why don't we set up pillows, blankets, like sexy candles for him? Yeah. I'm gonna let Ray know that I'm the kind of woman that'll take care of him when he's sick. Okay, okay so yeah, let's go do that now. Why sweet? Romantic. While he's sleeping, we set up some pillows and a blanket, some nice candles. So I think he's gonna enjoy it. Babe. Wake up. We have to get you up now. No, no. We got something prepared we got for you in another room. Oh, hell yeah. Unique and Chardonnay have created this candle lit area for me. I thought it was a great place for me to continue relaxing. <laughs> Y'all so sweet ladies. Thank you. We don't like to see you like this, you know? Do you want some tea? Okay, don't worry yourself now. <laughs> they make me hot tea. You know, they give me a massage. They really make me feel better. I love a woman that knows how to sometimes take care of me. All right, I'll go first. You, you, yeah. you want to go second? All right, yeah, I'll go second. Say the best yeah, for last, baby. Mm, I'm gonna save it I'll all. Be back. Oh I decide to let Unique get her one on one time first. But she needs to know that I will be knocking on the door in 10 minutes and I'm gonna need my time with my man. So, I wanna know how do you feel about me right now at this point? Besides my booty, I'm serious, babe. How do I feel about you? Yeah. I feel like you're coming in and you're taking over. And that's how I am. The more time I spend with Ray, I realize like I am falling for him and that I am starting to care for him each and every day more and more. So I gotta watch out for someone like you. Why? Because, you know, I'm not about to open my heart up to somebody and I have it broken. I'm not gonna break that heart of yours. I think Unique is a great girl. Classy, conservative. She's just herself. Time is up. It's Chardonnay time. Mm. 
<laughs> so Chardonnay storms in the room on me and Ray's one-on-one and she's like, come on, you guys, it's over. And so I start to kiss Ray again in front of her. Time up, time up, time up, time up. <laughs> Have fun in the kitchen. This bitch won't even leave. I had to tell her like 10 times, physically push her out the door. I'm like, okay, since so she wanna play like that, we gonna play. I don't know what makes you feel better. Oh, kisses. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, you so silly. I'm happy to have someone alongside with my man, so I'm just trying to make him feel better. We're back. While you guys wind down, it's elimination. Later. We get back to the house, and Unique got a chance to spend more time with Ray, and I'm really pissed because I know Ray can't see how evil she is because she hides it very well. Bye, Bye girly. Bye. hate Unique's guts. She is horrible. Horrible. Inside and out, horrible. Stretch marks, fat, ugly, fake, liar, manipulative. Everything about her makes me sick to my stomach. And I'm sick of feeling like that. Just the person I wanted to talk to. <clears throat> Ain't nothing wrong. Just wanna keep it real. Every chance I get, I'm gonna make her life a living hell. Because she shouldn't even be here. She doesn't even deserve to breathe Ray's air. Now that you're here and I'm here and we don't know if one of us might be going home, mm -hmm. I just want to let you know if I go home or you go home or whatever happens. Mm -hmm. Overall, this whole experience, mm -hmm. you have been a central person for me not to enjoy it. Oh, baby, I'm not here to be nice friends. We're all here for a competition, but you've been doing it in a vindictive and manipulative way and I don't respect that. I don't like you at all. Oh, hell no. Yeah. I don't like you, never have liked you. You're not my type okay. of chick. Yeah. I think you like the drama, I you like the you. irritation. No, I don't. You want some so, scandalous type stuff. I can because, see where this is yeah. going. Wait, are you cracking? Yeah, they arguing. Ain't nobody I'm there. I'm talking to you. That's fine. This is gonna get really ugly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Coming up next. Hey, keep it moving, mama. Unique has this whole churchy, oh, I wear stockings with all my skirts, ex. And it's like, now you all, all ghetto and stuff, little girl. Old ass you bitch. You old ass Later. What's going on? I'm really, at this point, ready to pack up and leave. So I'll dip up out of this place in a heartbeat. Now I'm getting upset. Don't come to me like that. I don't have time for games. I don't like a woman that quits. I don't like you, never have liked you. You're not my type okay. of chick. Ain't nobody I'm there talking to you. you. That's fine. This is gonna get really no. ugly in a minute. No. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Girl, I jumped I off like the her. phone like, what I, the I hell? I keep it real. I, I am so pissed right now, I'm going to snap on her ass. Why don't you get off of his and keep it moving, mama? Unique has this whole good girl, churchy, oh, I wear stockings with all my skirts, like this whole little act. And it's like, now you changing, you all, all ghetto and stuff, all, don't do that, don't talk to me. Little girl. I'm right here. Little girl. Old ass you bitch. You old ass You ain't nothing but a I'm anyway. I'm a 21, Yo, you, you are how old? 40? Are you different? You look psycho. I definitely do not think I know Danger is psycho. She's almost on the verge of a serial killer. You're the girl that will burn Ray J down. You're nasty, you're trifling. Keep it moving. I ain't got nothing to say to you. I ain't got a damn thing to say to you. <laughs> Trifling bitch. So, I'm chilling, and I walk into what it seems like is a peaceful kitchen. I just don't respect somebody who's being fake, and she just got all belligerent and upset about it, and I was just talking to her like this. Basically, that's it in a nutshell. So I go back to my room to cool off a little bit, but no. My blood is boiling more and more at this point. What up? You should calm this psycho bitch down. Cause she got some issues. I don't know what's your problem. I told you that- No, I don't care what you told me. Point is you're psycho. You are crazy. Don't you ever come to me disrespecting me again. I'm telling you, this girl crazy and I ain't having it. She better keep her damn mouth closed. Cause I ain't gonna tolerate it. This is for you right now. <clears throat> no, it ain't for him right now. Unbelievable!
global. Unique stars going bitch. I'm a whoop, 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 whoop. De whoop, de wham. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You you're crazy, you psycho. Right you climb trees at 4 a.m. You're retarded. Excuse me, Ray, but old girl's crazy. And if you don't sit through that, then I don't know what the hell to tell you. Now, Ray just has confirmation that Unique is a liar. She's putting up a huge front in front of everybody. And Ray thinks she's such a lady. She's so reserved and respectable. But she's not. Oh, You're crazy. You're crazy. Her. You should just keep your mouth shut. Period. You're negative. You're just not even a woman. I ain't never seen Unique like that. Thought she was a lady. But this ain't no lady like what she doing right now. You should get off of his and wake up, for real. I'm gonna find you. You. Keep talking, I'm gonna find you. Unique and Danger are fighting like crazy mad women and it's all good because it makes me look good if I'm not in the middle of that drama. Time to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> what happened? What the oh. While she was here earlier, I was like, look, don't be nice to me, because you talk so much about me. Just keep it real. And she just got all belligerent and upset about it. And I wanted to just kill her. Danger kept her cool. I was very impressed by that. Because if I beat her ass right now, it might be fun for a minute, but I'm going to go home and I can't be with you. Get off his damn He don't want you. The messed up thing about it is like, Ray, I just snapped. Ray, where your ass at? You ain't even came in here to check. Make sure I'm straight. So why do I want to be here if no man ain't even got my back? And anything? What happened? Oh, that, man. And right. it took you way too long to come check on me, too. Wow. And that just shows, like, for that. real. Nah, man, don't come at me. Like, no, what don't do what happened. No. What happened? Nah, I'm man, there, Listen, I'm in there in the kitchen, and then you come in there out of nowhere. I don't know what the nah. is going on. Here I am in her room right now, and she doesn't want to give me no love because I didn't immediately go in there and show her some attention. What you doing? What, what, what you doing now? What? What's going Just on? Just getting my together. For what? Huh? What, right? I'm not trying to hear you right now. Like, I'm really at this point ready to pack up and leave. Because I'll dip up out of this place in a heartbeat. Unique, please, please relax. Now I'm getting upset. Earlier in the day, Unique is feeling me. Now she's talking about packing her bags and leaving. I don't like a woman that quits. I'm telling you, if I am one girl, I am real as hell. And I don't have time for games. I don't have time for all right. Today I gotta send a girl home. So, but I gotta really, really, really sit back and think about my decision. I got real ugly and heated right now. And it might hurt my chances of being with Ray, but I want him to still know I care and that I am still here for him. All right, Lil B. Wow. I'm back again, another yes. elimination. Chardonnay, I think she's a good person, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we got danger. I like her she's a lot. She's straight up, mm -hmm. she's honest. Cocktail, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. We went out, you know, I felt like I might be me. with my yeah. girl. Yep, this is maybe me right now. You know, so okay. I, I like that. Okay. Unique. Mm. I was very disappointed yep. that she said she wanted to leave. Wow. Unique shocked the hell out of me because she showed me a side that I ain't never seen before. Hey, You're crazy, you you're psycho. Right you climb trees at 4 a.m. You're retarded. The fact that she threatened to walk out makes me wonder if she can even handle being here. What you doing? What, what, what you doing now? I'll dip up out of this place in a heartbeat. You know, like, don't come to me like that. I'm not sure I want a girl that wants to quit. Now let's get over to Feisty. Sweet girl. Sweet girl. Very fun. All I think she thinks about is hooters and partying. I gotta tell you something, right? She wants to have fun and party and be young. Work the little cars, girl. Oh, Feisty! <laughs> I don't know if Feisty is more than just a party girl yet. And I want to know because I think she's a nice person, but I don't know if she's just here for the fun. You know it's how you feel. Like, oh, do. do what you got to do. I got a really tough decision to make. I mean, I don't know what to do, but I got to do something.
coming up next. I really hope that Unique is going home tonight because she's a mean, vindictive bitch and I hate her. She smells funny and she's fat and mean. I am extremely nervous tonight about going home. This part never gets easy. I really hope that Unique is going home tonight because she's a mean, vindictive bitch and I hate her. She smells funny and she's fat and mean. Ray is floored because I was ready to pack up and leave. And this is a whole nother side of me he hasn't seen. So I am extremely nervous tonight about going home. I really don't wanna go home tonight. I feel like there's a distance between me and Ray. I'm really like scared going into tonight's elimination. Ladies. We started out with 14 girls, and now we're down to five girls left. And one of you has to go home tonight. Cocktail, come here. I felt like we had a good time last night. I just want to know, are you here for the love of Ray J? Always. All right, baby. Blessings to you. Cocktail is great fun. We had a great time on our date. And I'm gonna keep around a little bit just to see what's gonna happen, you know? Chardonnay, come here. You've been honest, straight up. I like that. You know what, I got a lot of love for Chardonnay because she's really trying to look out for me genuinely. And at the same time, she's cool as hell. I want to know, are you here for the love of Ray J? Yes, I am. Blessings to you. Thank you, baby. Oh, man. There's two glasses left, and so I'm kind of freaking out. I'm like, I'm kind of feeling really down right now. Danger. We cool, right? Always. You know, Danger and Unique got into some heavy today, but Danger kept her cool. I was impressed. I felt like we've been connecting. I just want to know, are you here for the love of Ray J? Yes. All right, girl. So Ray keeps Danger, and I am pissed. Like, is he really looking for a girl like that? Danger's very different. She's not like the rest of the girls. It's something very interesting about her. Now I'm down to two girls and only got one glass. This part never gets easy. It only gets harder. At this point, I'm really nervous and I'm thinking, okay, no, he is not leaving me up between me and Feisty. It's not, I can't believe this right now. So I'm starting to think that Ray sees me as just like this party girl. So I'm kind of scared that he doesn't want me to be here anymore. 